there are two main causes of large rotator cuff tears. One is traumatic, one is atraumatic, or what we call degenerative. The first would be I slip and fall on the ice, and all of a sudden I tear a large portion of my rotator cuff. The other is, over the years, a small rotator cuff develops, and it just slowly gets larger and larger and larger, both taking you to the same place. We have a really large rotator cuff tear. Approaching rotator cuff tears is really complex. Sometimes it's as simple as just doing some physical therapy, maybe a cortisone injection. Sometimes we talk about doing a repair and fixing the rotator cuff. And other times the tear is so bad, you failed conservative treatment, and we start talking about a shoulder replacement, or specifically a reverse shoulder replacement. So when patients have failed conservative treatment, or even in cases where patients have failed rotator cuff repairs, and they have a significant loss of function, and they have a lot of pain, so they can't do activities of daily living, they're having a tough time sleeping, they can't get dressed, that's when we would consider doing a reverse shoulder replacement. In a reverse shoulder replacement, your rotator cuff's not working, so the implant itself is gonna compensate for that. You're going to get an improvement in your range of motion and a significant improvement in your pain. Patients should expect to see over their recovery, which typically takes somewhere between three to six months, an improvement in their range of motion, an improvement in their pain, the ability to do activities of daily living, like combing your hair, brushing your teeth, getting things off of a shelf. Here at the MedStar Orthopedic Institute, we have a huge breadth of providers to help take care of your shoulder issues. We have non-operative providers, we've got sports surgeons, we've got shoulder surgeons, and we've got the Curtis National Hand Center. We all work together and collaborate to help take care of you in the best way possible.